Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am in Mardens with Sandy. We are walking around looking at fabric. And I brought my camera so I could show you the fabric, but then I almost forgot to take it out of my purse. Now I have the camera out. There are people around here. They once said it was okay for me to have my camera here, but I still feel weird. I wanna show you that. I bought myself this pink rayon. It's a batik print and that is going to be a new shirt that I'm making myself. I'm going to be using it to show you how to make a shirt to fit your body. And I was going to get this one, but I need two yards, and I don't think there's two yards here. So we'll see. And then Sandy is picking up this for who knows what. She's got a project in her head. I think she said a poncho. I am going to try to show you around the entire fabric section, but first I'm going to let you say hi to Sandy. Hi, everybody. We are, are having an adrenaline rush. This is my favorite place to come with Darlene or just by myself. I get so excited. The fabrics, the textures, the colors. It's like a casino to some people. Yes, me, it's a casino. Like, it's like people who like to gamble like to go to casinos and I like to go to the fabric store with my buddy Darlene. Yes. And we are, we're having fun looking at the fabric. Okay, let me just show you a little bit. I'm trying just not to bother people, but I mean, here's a section of where you can see all the rows of fabric and all the rows are very long. Now this is all 100% cotton specifically or best for quilting. You can tell there's a lot to choose from. And there's even more there and there all kinds of things like zippers and elastic and ribbons. Really cheap too. And then this back wall has like a lot of fleece, the minky fleece, soft stuff. And then we have more kinds of fleece here. And then you can buy foam for upholstering or making pillows or all kinds of stuff. And then they have upholstery fabric here. Right here are kids' panels. I actually want to do some tutorials on panels and more quilt fabric. And this is like their higher end cotton. It's called Quilt Shop Quality Cottons. And they're more expensive. And more upholstery type fabrics back there. And they have like some felt that you can buy big pieces of felt. Then you can get some pre-cut things like fat quarters or things like that. And then you can get your smaller cuts of batting, only $1.49 per yard. And they have a lot more fleece on the walls, all kinds. And they have some yarn in this section. Selected fabric, $2 per yard. Good Lord, I have to check that stuff out. All kinds of trims and things. Some more yarn. Other trims and things. So this is the $2 per yard cotton. Now as much fabric as I have, I don't have tons of 100% cotton. And I do want to do some quilting tutorials, so. I'm gonna be able to go shopping. I just love a good excuse for shopping for fabric. As much as I'd love to buy some cotton for quilt projects, I have to go through what I have. And it's a mission I'd like to complete before Skylar comes. But we're talking about half a cellar filled with fabric. I would like to take everything, go through it, see what I want to keep, see what I don't need, bring it upstairs, upstairs like into the bedroom. I try to get a bedroom empty so I can bring the fabric there and just really be able to look at what I have, come up with ideas of how to use it and use it before I start spending money. But if I find that I don't have enough cotton or that I've used up what I have, and I probably have more than I even think, then I can start shopping. But I am buying myself 
the rayon for shirts for me because I like rayon for my shirts and I don't have a lot of rayon. And there's more stuff over here, more things in boxes. And then let's go to this wall over here. Lots of beautiful colors and just so awesome. And then this is all flannels. I mean, remember when flannel was just plain color and no prints? All 100% cotton flannel. And it's just beautiful. And they have different kinds of patterns and projects and I have a lot of this stuff. I have probably have an entire box filled with just different kinds of patterns and projects that people could be using. So I have to start going through that. All right, there's another section that I want to show you. Right here they have a lot of homespun cotton. Homespun cotton is a nice light weave, um, a lightweight weave, and it is perfect for making rag quilts. They, the homespun just rags so nicely. I just love it. Then they have a whole section here of odds and ends. A lot of like nice t-shirt fabrics. Oh my god, just all kinds of things. Oh, they have some nice... Oh, this flannel is so thin. Oh my goodness. Here are some of the tie-dye batiks. See, I wanted more of a traditional tie-dye. Like maybe this. But I opted for the pink that I showed you because I just really like it, and I can always get more later. And they even have some nice embroidered tie-dye. They have another one here in green. More awesome fabric on the wall. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Now, I look at trim like this and see it in a different way. This is for like draperies and things like that, or upholstering furniture. But I can see myself using this as the collar of a shirt and sewing the fabric onto there. That could be interesting. Hmm. You guys, look at how bizarre. I was just showing you this trim. Look at the fabric Sandy just came here with. It's identical in <laughs> colors. Can you tell that we're attracted to the same things? Only she's probably going to do an actual upholstering kind of project, and I want to use this for a shirt. <laughs> what else you got? Um, okay, these are basics, or the backings for cat, nap, lap Ooh. blankets. So that is more of a upholstery oh. fabric, so it's a little heavier. So that'll be the backing. I already yep. have the stuff that goes in the middle, and I'm just picking out coordinating colors for the front. Cool. So this one's gray, beige, and cream, so I thought... Beige and cream over here. Awesome! I'm not sure about the gray. And in case you guys don't know, Sandy made two videos, right? Yeah. Of catnap lap blankets. Is that the way? <laughs> catnap lap blankets. It's blankets for her cats that she puts on her lap so they can take a nap and not claw her. And she's going to make some others now using upholstery fabric because she feels like it'll just be that much more rugged. And I do have a question for you guys, not only about the cat nap lap blankets, but other things. Sandy wants to get an eBay account set up. She would like to make some of those cat nap lap blankets. So just let me know in the comments if uh, you'd be interested in seeing that, seeing how she makes some of them and seeing them on eBay. I know there are a lot of cat lovers out there. And the other thing is Sandy or I, or both, or neither, would also maybe kind of, sort of, be interested in putting together quilt kits for you guys because there's so much fabric here. And what it would be is that we would just like, you know, pick the prints and, you know, some pre-cuts, fat quarters, what are they called, the 10 inch ones, layer cakes and the five inch ones, just the five inch squares, things like that. Just curious to know if any of you guys would be interested in that. We certainly have a big variety of fabrics to choose from. We wouldn't be hand picking like 
you wouldn't tell us what you want and us go shop for it. It would just be we would put some kits together and probably sell them on eBay or whatnot. Or even Etsy. Etsy is not out of the question, especially for Sandy, because she's not already addicted to the auction format like I am. So these are all things up in the air. But definitely, if you'd like to see some catnap lap blankets... <laughs> And if you'd like to rename it, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me know in my comments and also visit Sandy's channel. I will have her link down below and you can go see her catnap lap blanket videos and I will link to those. All right, just wanted to toss that out there. We're having so much fun. Leave us alone. I just want to show you guys this upholstery fabric, which is usually very expensive. Sandy just picked up a yard of this. It's only $2.99 a yard. She has that gigantic piece for $2.99 of upholstery fabric. We need to start upholstering things. <laughs> and I have decided to try some of this. Did I even mention it? I think, yes, as for the collar of a shirt. Or maybe this one. Maybe and or this one. I really like this one. Might have to take a yard of both because I like the colors of it. I would actually use stuff like this for a collar too. Or for the ends of sleeves. Oh my God, I'm gonna have so much fun. I already don't remember if I showed you the cotton batiks. They have a, so many. I mean, they're just beautiful. Look how beautiful this tote came out using the cotton batiks and it's padded. And they just went ahead and used one solid piece for the strap. This is awesome. What I'm thinking is, when I'm done the quilt block party series, I would like to do more quilt blocks in various series, or whether it's a series or not, we're going to have more quilt blocks. But I'd also like to have a quilt, an actual quilt tutorial series ongoing so that I would do one quilt after another, assuming that I can make more time in my life. But what I thought is for the next one, I want to do batik fabrics in cotton. And if you guys are interested, those of you who have been following me, let me know if you'd like me to put together just a couple uh, quilt kits. I would just be buying some fabric in the correct yardage as to what I'm using, put those quilt kits together, and then put them on eBay and you know, just interested in knowing if you guys would like that at all because I know some of you probably do not have access to batiks or to the fabrics that I have. And let's see, these are priced reasonable. Let's see. Well, some are $4.99 a yard. Some are a little less. So, you know, the quilt kits would have to be, you know, up there a little bit. But the shipping would not be bad. You'd be surprised how much I can ship in a flat rate envelope, which is like $7. So, anyway, just tossing the idea out there. You guys would be responsible for the batting and things like that. But just uh, very curious to know if there's any interest in that. I was just editing this video and I realized we didn't say bye. I totally planned on having Sandy and I say bye to you while we were in the car, but it was raining. We jumped in the car. We ran over to Rogers. I stocked up on some meat and then I took her home and ended up going in her house for a little bit. Just completely forgot that I had even recorded anything <laughs> previously. So I just wanted to say bye. We had fun at Martin's and I am interested in knowing, you know, certainly no commitments. I don't want anybody to think that if they say, yeah, that would be a good idea, that that means I'm expecting you to buy quilt kits. But I'm just tossing it out there to know if that sounds like a good idea. It is something that Sandy and I are both passionate about. And Sandy is very good at putting colors and stuff together. She was in retail for, like, since she's a teenager. She's very good with colors and things like that. I, on the other hand, am more on the wacky side. So between the two of us, you would have some nice quilt kits. And it might be something we could just do as a joint effort. Sandy works outside the home a 40-hour-plus-a-week job, so she doesn't have time to do YouTube like I do. I just know there's an idea in there somewhere, and here's why I say that. When I was doing eBay way back, I started in the year 2000, I had a lot of fabric scraps. I used to actually sell my scraps by the pound for people who liked to do quilting or make doll clothes, stuffed animals, just all kinds of crafts, things like that. This started by me having a pile of scraps 
that I had stacked on my ironing board and it just drove me nuts because that ironing board couldn't be used because I had a big pile of scraps. I took a picture of that pile of scraps and it was a pile. I mean, it was like climbing up the wall. And instead of throwing that away, I took a picture of that heap and just said, I can't remember how much per pound, and that I would just pick from that pile and make a bag and sell it. And I turned that scrap pile into over $1,000. <laughs> of revenue. So I was like, okay, there's something in this. So then I knew I had Martins and there was a time that I would go buy yardage and I would cut fat quarters and I sold fat quarters. Now, this was very new at the beginning of eBay and I can't remember how long I did that, but that worked great. I sold tons of cotton. So I know there's an idea there because I've done it before, but now the market is saturated. So I don't know if there's still interest in that. I certainly would be willing to try, or I would be willing to give this whole entire project to Sandy so she could have something because I really have not much time and I do have a lot of things that I want to do. But between the two of us, we should be able to come up with something if you guys think that that would be cool. And Marden's does have sales. Like there were a lot of cotton prints there, like four big gigantic bins that were only $2 per yard. So, you know, we could keep our eye out on cheap cotton and just, you know, put together some either quilt kits or just sell fabric by the yard or fat quarters or things like that. So do let us know. It will help us decide if it's something that we should move forward on. It would be nice that we wouldn't have to really spend any money out of pocket. Like we could take pictures of bolts of fabric and we could do like pinks or purples or yellows or just whatever. And then if the kit would sell or the yardage would sell, we could shop after the fact, like immediately after, go get it, get it all packaged and sent out. So it's not like we would be spending hundreds of dollars on fabric to have the fabric here in our home. You know, we, we know Martins, I've been doing business with them forever. And, you know, Sandy knows the people who work there. They don't have a problem with my camera. I mean, I did ask specifically if they minded if I took pictures of fabric. So that would be a good way for us to do it. Just go there, snap pics, and, and you know, just say that we have this much up for grabs and we would be putting it together after the fact. And I don't know. I'm just excited about business. Always have been, always will be. So just let us know if you're interested in any of that for you uh, quilters out there or just um, fabric hoarders because there are fabric hoarders. I'm one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon. Bye. I will be making my shirt tutorial soon. Very simple shirt that anyone can make. If you have a sewing machine, you can do it. Please subscribe so you don't miss it and check out some other videos while you're here. Please do check out Sandy's catnap lap blankets. It's a mouthful.